Hey everybody, welcome to Yarn Yak. We're back. Woohoo! Season two premiere of Yarn Yak, your favorite fiber and yarn and crafty show. I'm Kimmer. And I'm Carla. And we are coming to you from the stash in Baldwin, Wisconsin. Um, do you like our little Muppet puppets? <laughs> Here I am. Yes, there's Kimmer and Carla. Here we are. We got our yarn bag. Just kidding. We're coming. We're coming. <laughs> oh, those were fun to make, Carla. Yeah. Yeah, they were. They you did were a great job. Great work. Thanks. You're welcome. I like them. I think I'm going to do a. What do you guys think? Should I do a workshop this winter on how to make weeby dolls? How to do their hair and how to make clothes for them and stuff? Don't think mm -hmm. that'd be fun. I was thinking about that January, that February. Be fun, yeah. Like a few Saturday workshop and mm -hmm. show everybody how to do it. Such a fun toy to give. It would, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> welcome. We're here. It's still hot. Yeah. <laughs> I really um, wanted it to be fall. I had the best, cutest little fall outfit planned. Yep. Yeah for tonight and um yeah i got up this morning and i was like no nope. not putting and no it's just nope. a big it was a hard pass i was yeah. like mm -mm. it's too warm even in here with the air conditioning on yeah. it's still too it's hot too so warm. is there are you guys melting are you melting uh, i do not believe I'm that i'd be melting now remember on your neck we cannot see your comments until after the show is over so don't ask us stuff on the comments and be mad when we don't answer you because we can't see it so i will answer questions afterwards like i usually do but welcome, welcome everybody. I don't know who's all here, but welcome, welcome. So it's been a really busy summer. Uh, a really busy one. A lot going There's on. There's a lot going yeah, on. Absolutely. Yeah, I had a, I had a, a, a really, a pretty big idea last February, March. Mm -hmm. And uh, first I only discussed it with my accountant and my husband for a little bit. And then I discussed it with a, a few of my faithful, helpful uh, volunteer partners here for a long, for a lot more. And, and then all of a sudden it started to come to fruition and it's finally ready. It's finally ready for us to tell everybody about. But first, what you've been working on this summer, Carla? Uh, tell, us, tell us a few things you made. I know you've made a ton of stuff. I've been working on, yes. So feels like I've been working on one thing forever, but we will not name it in case somebody it's a gift. sees it. It's a gift. We can't Ugh. name it. But forever she she has she ever. she has been working on one thing forever and ever and, and ever, ever and ever. But and not ever. only that one. Thing. No, it hasn't been. It just yeah. feels like it. You so. had you had whip a whatever whip a whatever where you whip. From yeah, whip, I was whip yeah. to whip to whip. Yeah, I have I have several things going on because I get bored sometimes. I get so whipophrenia. Yeah, whipophrenia. Whipophrenia. That's yeah. what we call that. It's whipophrenia when you go from whip to whip to whip to whip to whip and you never actually finish anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's not wrong. <laughs> I mean, you eventually finish it. Yeah, just lot if you do that, than... you're not alone and you don't no. need medication. Just no. come back to the store and I'll help you find another one. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's really good. <laughs> I'll find another one. She's really good. It'll make it better, I promise. <laughs> right, right. Ah, oh, shoot. So, yeah. yeah. But you, so you've Quite been working on the one thing, which yeah. you're almost done with and can show us soon. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay. So the one thing, and um, I can say, can I say that it, what what it is without saying what it, you know exactly it is? Yeah. It's a blanket. Yeah. I won't say any more than that. It's a corner to corner blanket. It's a corner to corner blanket. That changes colors. That changes colors. And often. has a million thousand billion ends to And I know in. because I wove in a whole she bunch did. of them And it doesn't look and, like and any and have been done. Yeah. I'm, we're going to do it again. I'll yeah. help you. Yeah. I'll help you. I hate it. I know. I hate it. I know. I hate it so much. I know. But I don't <laughs> mind. I no, it's soothing. fine. I find yeah, it it's actually uh, unless I have a whole it's bunch of stuff really to do, nice. then I don't yeah. find that soothing. Yeah, but it's looking really nice. So yeah, but Between you've also been and... making some Tunisian strip blankets. Yeah, so that's cool. She does. She does these. Um, so she can just use a regular crochet hook, right? She doesn't need a special tool. Mm -hmm. School shoe bag. What? School shoe bag. Squish it. Why? Why? It's in your way. Because you can't see Kimmer's face. And that's unfortunate. Now you go to sleep and yeah. think about what you did. Yeah, you lay down and take a nap, <laughs> yeah. naughty hooker. It's not all about you. <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess you could Technical see my face. Technical difficulties. <laughs> here I am. I'm really here. It was just my doll. It was me Psych. talking behind my doll. Psych. I, I, know. I know you can't. 
<laughs> Listen, it looks just like me. It does. It does. It does. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, what was yeah. I saying? Oh, she was making really cool Tunisian strip blankets. So you use a regular hook and you just do Tunisian simple stitches, whichever, whatever ones mm -hmm. you want. And you work in strips and then you just quick join the strips. It's really cool. As you go along. It's really cool. You're it makes like a, yeah, it makes like a really, I like fabric. Fabric, it, like fabric, like knit. Or so it's all smooth. Or woven you don't feel the uh, you don't see the seams or anything, and it's, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's an idea. Like, really nice. So, um, one of the things that we're gonna do a little later this winter is Carla found a really cool pattern book that shows you how to do these neat um, strip blankets yes. using Tunisia, but you could also just do regular crochet and yeah. make similar ones. And I want to play around with that idea. I think that would be a really fun way to burn up some stash. Yeah, yeah so, absolutely. So and yeah, colorful we have things. all these plans, you guys, for this for this season. Just wait. Uh, we are just getting started. But we're going to tell you some of the biggest, biggest plans to, okay. uh, tonight. Yes. First of all, so I've been making, I have been working on mostly on She's been a fiend. the store stuff. Like yeah, she's store stuff. So things. I made the big crochet totes, um, the smaller four square bags. Uh, notion pouches. Mm -hmm. What else? What was I doing before that? I can't even remember. Oh, I had to do, uh, I did a, like the stuff for nip night. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's just been like, but boom, but boom. Like I just finished something and like, okay, now what's next? What's next? So I've been crocheting my little fingers off, but I haven't gotten to make myself anything for a while. So just tonight, this is literally how far I got. It is like a foot and an inch on a foundation roll for I'm going to make uh, myself just a quick little poncho, just a little asymmetrical wrap, you know, where you make mm -hmm. a rectangle and bring it over and seam it so you can have it be, I like the triangle on one hip look of one, one my favorite way, but I'm making it out of wizard in the turquoise, the blues. Oh, that's so pretty. Because, oh, yeah, it's not her color at it's all. It's not my color at all. I don't I'm going to do it anyway. That one. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, so I just, we'll see if I, we'll see if I actually get to um, do that. I was also working on a blanket using the farmer's solder fibers, which we do not have here yet, but we are going to be, I'm, I, we are working on getting an account there. It, um, we were on a wait list and I think it looks like we're coming off the wait list. So cross your fingers, but we might be getting the farmer's solder pretty soon. If you exciting. don't know what that is, Google it. Yeah. Exciting. Um, and yeah, I'm super, super excited about that. It's really nice. Aaron. Anyway, I had, I, I have some, and, um, I was going to make myself a blanket using those squares out of it. But, um, my whole plan was promised on that. I was going to get all these squares done ahead of time so that when I go on retreat weekend, I could join it. And that is never in a thousand years going to happen now. Busy, busy. I don't have time. So I think I'm gonna have to put that one off until probably after Christmas. So yeah, there's so much. There's so much going on. All the things. So are you sick of me saying there's so much going on and you want to know what the big news is? The big big news. The big big the big big the news. Big big news. Um I don't even know where to start now. Yeah. <laughs> it's so like, what? Okay. So all right, look, girlfriends. <sighs> Let me post up. <sighs> Here's the thing. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me let me tell you about this thing that the thing, this thing that I did. So I got to thinking about all the customers that we have that live just a, you know outside that that half hour away. The sweet spot. Outside the sweet spot, you know, and yet they, they still drive here. They still come here, and they can't come very often. And you know, and then other customers that have, can only come once in a while and wish they could come more and don't have yarn shops where they live. That's where I got thinking about that and I got thinking about ice cream trucks and how they drive down the street and play their little music mm -hmm. and then you just run out with yeah. your money and get some ice cream. And I got thinking, no, why isn't there a yarn truck? Why isn't there? Why isn't there? Why isn't there a yarn emporium hmm. with implements? Hmm. Tchotchkes and implements. Hmm. What would those letters stand for? Hmm. I know. Yeti. Yeti. Yeti, Yeti, Yeti. So I bought a bus. She got a bus. <laughs> I bought a bus. She bought the bus. I bought a bus. I bought a 24 foot, like a shuttle bus, like a city shuttle bus. Mm -hmm. I bought a 24 foot bus. And my husband is uh, did, some, did some amazing body work to it. 
and it uh, has all its decals on the outside by Minuteman Press. Thank you very much, Minuteman. You guys did an amazing Woo! job. You guys are the we best. We love them. Um, we have a little mascot, which is, I have to move, you know. Oh, which is the little Yeti you've been seeing popping up here and there on Facebook and Instagram. And so we have we have little pins of him and some other things, stickers and stuff <clears throat> ready. Um, the Yeti will be stuffed with the sash and it will go to <laughs> I know, right? It will go all over the state in the spring, summer and early fall next year. So early spring all the way to early fall. Um, it will go out uh, to farmers markets, craft fairs, events, mm -hmm. town uh, festivals. Um, it'll go to local businesses like breweries and uh, br breakfast places and churches and any other place that would like to have us visit. And you will be able to shop the bus and we may do some urinary episodes uh, at certain stops and there's going to be a lot of fun. Some mini classes may happen in some of these stops. Um, I think it's going to be a really good time. It's going to let us bring really good yarn, nice yarn at all price points to people all over the state, especially in areas where there isn't a yarn shop or even a discount uh, yarn store anywhere around um the there's yarn desert there's a lot of there's a lot of yarn deserts mm -hmm. in wisconsin so um i'm so excited about this you you don't well maybe you do know if you know me <laughs> i'm pretty excited stoked. about it I'm, I'm really stoked um the bus is really nice my husband's i was gonna buy a camper and my husband was like, no, woman, you want a bus. You want a non-leaking roof and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, but I want a pooper. And he's like, you don't need that. There's there's truck stops. And I'm like, fair. <laughs> <laughs> so so I traded an indoor toilet of my very own <laughs> for a roof that doesn't leak, which turns out is way more important for yeah. what we're using the well, bus for. for. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Um, there will be a lot of gifts and other types of finished items and things on the bus that we don't have as, as much of in the shop as well for people who don't yarn but just would like to purchase uh, yarn gifts. We're we're really excited and we hope that you guys are really excited and we hope that you guys are really proud of your little mighty yarn shop for mm -hmm. going out and going forth. And for some of our viewers that do live far away summon the yeti we're coming let us know <laughs> so if you want more information about that or you want to know how the how you get the yeti to come to the town you live at or wherever you know all you have to do is go on our website at shop the and right at the top uh, it's a yarn bus and if you're on a phone you just have to click the three little bars to get the drop down menu and then you'll see it and it'll go right to that page and you can get all the information of how to summon the yeti summon the yeti yeah, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a really good time. Who doesn't like yarn road trip? I know, I mean, right? I, I love yeah. that. So you'll, get, you'll get mostly me and Carla, but you may get me and somebody else sometimes too. Yep. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be really fun. And so time. that's our like big, huge, we have expanded and we have a second mobile location. Mobile. We're mobile. Bus. Yeah. About the bus. I bought a bus. Bought a bus. <laughs> so anyway. That is the one thing. The next thing, we have all these announcements, you guys. Tonight is just a oh, ton of info. It's info, 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 yes. info. So also, if you're new here, so there may be things you don't know if you're new here. Um, the next thing after the Yeti is the YPC. If you don't know what the YPC is, that is our annual charity drive that we do here at the Stash. We pick a recipient. Mm -hmm. in the beginning of the year well we announce our recipient in the beginning of the year we actually usually pick it the year before and uh, we work with them to find out what uh yarn items they could use that they can't really get somewhere else easily mm -hmm. or if they don't get any at all and then we figure out uh what we need to make and how we can best supply that and then we spend uh six months or so making all the items that we um want to make and we donate it. And at the end of it, when we are done, we have a presentation luncheon where we donate 
the item to the recipient mm -hmm. and we have a really good time there. We get to eat, we have prizes and the makers who worked on the drive get a really good swag bag, which is filled with stuff from a lot of our vendors. Amazing. Yeah. Nice. And this year, the it's swag really bag is amazing. a bomb. Yes. <laughs> like, this is the biggest YPC we've ever done. Both our goals, our recipient and our sponsorships mm -hmm. were all just like double, triple or more what they were last year. Yeah. I'm so blown away. So blown away by what everyone did. I'm not going to get super into it now because I'll talk about a lot of this more at the YPC, mm -hmm. but that's what it is. And I just wanted to remind anybody who is watching and isn't paying attention to the time that the deadline to turn in your donation items is this Saturday. So we've already had a couple people come in today with a few things. They're like, I just finished, I just finished. And I'm like, yay, 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 good for you. Mm -hmm. But it is this Saturday. This Saturday is the last day you can turn in anything that you made for the YPC. We uh, count and package and box up the donation shortly after this. So we will not be able to include anything that's turned in after this Saturday, which would be sad. So get it in here, get it in here. Um, the luncheon date, the YPC party, if you were a maker, you will have received an RSVP email, um, should have gotten it yesterday or maybe today from your team captain. So if you are already signed up to be a maker and you turned in uh, even one item, if you turned in one item, you should have gotten an email. And if you didn't, please email your team captain. And that should have all the information in it that you need for the party. The party is not open to the public. So you should be getting an email um, and you should definitely go. Because, again, we got a lot of stuff to give you guys from our vendors, yes. a lot of stuff. And there's some really, really good prizes were donated mm -hmm. that you can win with green tickets at the draw at the at the luncheon. And members of uh, representatives of Turning Point are going to be there. And it's going to be really fun. And also, we always have fun at that anyway, because everybody's mm -hmm. just sitting around talking and yarning. Yeah, and there's a lot it's, of fellowship it's, amongst it's a really members. good community. Yeah. Uh, to really kind of feel it it's it's kind of different when you're all together and you see what you did mm -hmm. it's it's, it's really it, yeah it hits that joy button that we talk yep. about all the time with yarn it really hits that button it's really nice so anyway if you have any questions about anything i said about the ypc please email your team captain and ask them and if they can't answer it they'll find out for me okay fabulous <laughs> okay okay so the other couple things we wanted to tell everybody is uh boy i'm talking really fast you are getting I'm all the really deets fast. out she's got a lot of deets yeah there's a bunch um also if you're new here or even if you're not and you just never did it i want to remind you guys to sign up for our newsletter mm -hmm. and you do that on our website at shop the um if you sign up for the newsletter we do not spam you you get the newsletter on tuesday at 5 30. that's it you may occasionally, very occasionally, get like a coupon or something like that, or a very important communication about something that's happening uh, that's, you know, pertinent. But um, I don't send like, shop now, everything's 25 cents off for the next 10 minutes. I don't send that kind most, of stuff Most at of all. the information just comes in the newsletter. Yep, that it's, you if there's a sale or something yep. like that, it's in the newsletter. So yep. there's a class. Um, the stuff yep. that's in the newsletter is like classes, new items in the shop. Uh, sometimes there's patterns, for, a lot of times free patterns that I've yep. found that work really good with events. yarns that we have, events. If we're having a sale, if something's coming up that, you know, you may have forgotten about, but what would want to know about, like the date we start green tickets. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what that is, starting on November 1st, every year, you get a green ticket for every 20 bucks you spend. And we put all those tickets in a thing and we draw for a couple, two, three big giveaway prizes a couple weeks before Christmas. And that's, that's exciting. That's fun too. So the retail value of those uh, giveaways is pretty good. Mm -hmm. So um, I think last year we had three yep. giveaways. Yep. yep. It's it's sort of, um, it, it kind of has to do with how many green tickets we get in the first place, how many mm -hmm. uh, drawings we can do, but it's usually two or three. Mm -hmm. So so that's the kind of thing that is also in the newsletter, reminding you of when stuff like that starts. Mm -hmm. um, and then especially classes and workshops, because that's the best way to find out, like, for example, uh, Beginner Crochet um, went out in the newsletter here two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and it's full. 
is it doesn't take very long for our classes to get full because we don't do 20 person classes. We max that six people because we want to make sure that if you take the class, when you leave, you know, you know what, you're doing. what you're doing, what we start yeah, set out to teach a good you base. to the best of our ability. Mm -hmm. So we keep our classes really small. Um, so that kind of stuff is in the newsletter. So it doesn't cost anything. It's no big deal and you won't get spammed to death. So jump on the website and sign up for the newsletter. Um, we have something like 2,200 Facebook followers, but we only have about 500 newsletter subscribers. So I, I often think people don't know we have a newsletter and mm -hmm. why they should get it. So I'm reminding you of that. And then the other thing I want to tell people about um, is our Chicks with Six membership. Um, this one's a little like a lot of people are like, what? Why? Why is it so much? And I kind of want to try to explain. I'm going to give it a shot. Mm -hmm. So we have a loyalty membership program called Chicks with Six, and it does cost money every month. However, you get 20 percent off all your shopping at the stash online or in the store, except for consignment items, right. items I don't own all the time. So all the time, <laughs> like. So you get, it's like having the Black Friday sale every day. It's Wednesday afternoon. I'm going to go to the store. Yeah. And whatever I pick off the shelf that's not consignment, I get 20% off. And it, there's only a couple. We only have, I mean, I think two things in here that are consignment. Right now, yep. And none of it's yarn. So, I mean, that's all your tools, your yarn, mm -hmm. um, tchotchkes, fun stuff, stickers, everything. Mm -hmm. It's all, you get 20% off all of that. So, a lot of people, when they see how much the Chicks with Six subscription is, they're like, there's no way I don't buy that much yarn. But actually, most of you do. Yep. You just don't realize that that's what you spend. Yep. Because it's not just yarn. It's everything else, too. So I'm not trying to, like, me at you or anything like that. I promise, swear to God. I'm just letting you know. Take a really good look at it. It might save you some money. If you are a person who does a lot of holiday gifting, mm -hmm. if you are a person who does craft fairs, mm -hmm. we have very nice yarns here at those um, lower, medium price points that are high quality, much better than something that you can get at a discount store, much better. And, um, and then you can save 20% on it. So it's definitely financially mm -hmm. a good deal. Absolutely. Um, you also though, besides the 20% off, you get a little gift for me every month. Um, you also get early access to all of our big sales and events. And there's some perks that Chicks with Six members get that are associated with those events that we don't even advertise. Mm -hmm. It's just something you get. And um, you also get occasionally the opportunity to buy very specially discounted items offers. Like, uh, for example, the Chicks with Six members just had the opportunity to order a Tenti overnight bags. Um those bags retail for $250 to $275, and they just had an opportunity to get them basically wholesale. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, it's just like, again, it's just an occasional, and it's at my discretion, but it's a perk that you get with your membership. So, it's definitely something to think about if you think that you are right on the line of where you, you know, you buy a little yarn. <laughs> Uh, think about the membership. You can cancel it. It's a month to month membership. So you can cancel it for the next month anytime. Um, it's it's not like uh, you won't be able to show your face in here again. If you get it and then decide it's not for you, I won't hold it against you. But I like to let people know what it really is so that they understand what they're getting, what they're paying for. So there's that. Yes. And I know, Carla, if I can say, I know you've had it for a really long time, mm -hmm. basically since the beginning, and you really like it. I do. It's very nice. So I feel like I've saved a lot of money. Uh, especially when you want to treat yourself. Yeah. Because <laughs> yep. it you know, can it's take a, a $200 yarn run down to <laughs> yeah. 140 bucks. Really it's pretty quick. nice. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, there is that. Um, the other thing that's new that we're starting this season is on Yarn Yak, we will be of course, discussing yarn and things like that. Not so much tonight because we had all this like stuff to tell you, but, and uh, we'll bring, we'll be bringing back the deserted island question as best we can. <laughs> you guys got to start thinking of some deserted island questions and telling us what, you know, giving doesn't us some ideas. It doesn't have to just be yarn. No, it doesn't have to just be yarn. Like I thought of one to ask Carla tonight. She I know, she won't tell is. me. I won't tell her. It's more fun when she, she likes to put know. me on the spot. I do. I definitely do. I like her to make that face where she goes, that face you'll see 
but um, don't have a but face. we are going to start doing a giveaway on Yarn Yak. Um, yeah, you'll get a little treat, and you'll get a big fat coupon, and um, the treat will just be whatever I, whatever I think I like to give stuff away. So, um, but it will be solely based on shoppers. So. Mm -hmm. For example, for the last seven days, I have been keeping track of everybody that I could um, that the system recognizes as a customer. If you've never signed up for anything and you don't, uh, I've never uh, paid for with anything with, for um, here with a credit card or anything like that, I may not have known who you were. But I got most of you. So, and I knew most of you that shopped this last week. So I've got your names in this little yarn bowl here. And I will draw a name from our shoppers online and in-store shoppers and that includes signing up for a class um and the winner gets tonight gets this cute little Mosha bag with a yarn yak pin and there's some treats inside here i'm not going to tell you what they are a couple, little, a couple little treats inside there in the little Mosha bag and you also get a 40 percent off one single item coupon non-consignment so here's the catch here's the fine print you gotta pick that up and use the coupon before next monday night so basically by saturday um if you do not whoever you are that wins then your prize goes back into the prize bowl for another time so that's the catch in the meantime i'll be keeping track of our customers this week online and in store and doing the same thing again on our next yarn yak show so we'll be having a giveaway isn't that fun it's exciting i like to give stuff away i know way more than i probably should mm -hmm. I know. And this is my favorite time of year because there's all these opportunities for me to give stuff away. Yes. Yeah. I get to do the uh, Black Friday sale mm -hmm. and I get to do the green ticket giveaway mm -hmm. and I get to do the day mm -hmm. after Christmas, the, the big, big one, one sale. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, if you're new here, uh, this time of year we is when we do our biggest, the only one we yeah. don't do in the winter is El West Day. Yeah. El West Day is probably our biggest party of the year. Yep. Yeah. It's really something. And it's in the spring. And it's in the spring. That's in the, the last Saturday in April. But aside from that, our two biggest sales are our Black Friday online only sale. And then our day after Christmas sale that starts at seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that's a that's a clearance sale. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's it's pretty fun. Everything must go. Everything. Well, not, everything. Not, not, everything. not everything. Everything in the other room must Just, go. Yeah. <laughs> Just specific things. Must specific go. Specific things. Specific things. So I, um, there's mm -hmm. a lot of new yarn in the shop, new yarn brands. I think since mm -hmm. we ended our season last spring, yes. um, we have, what's your favorite of your, uh, well, I won't even say what's your favorite. What's your favorite worsted of the new yarn? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a pill. I, I can't even pick one. I have a, oh, I have a toss up two for, I, I have a toss up two for, I go back and forth between my favorite uh, economy, I think, yarn mm -hmm. is the big 400 gram Hayfield. Yes, I love those. Those Hayfield bonus, those big 400 mm -hmm. gram balls. Uh, that's my favorite economy yarn because it doesn't feel like economy yarn. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like economy yarn. No. It doesn't act like economy yarn, but the price of it is economy. So nice to work yeah, with. It's very nice. We had a lot of people use that to make mm -hmm. wraps for the YPC it's and they brought their wraps gold. back and they're like, Cameron, this is really nice yeah, yarn and they, they ended up buying amazing. more for their yeah. own personal projects. It's really amazing. I like that one. So too. I think that one and then my other favorite, and I think that's more maybe a low mid range is vintage, vintage Morocco yeah. vintage. Yep. That stuff is so stinking soft It is, and it's a 50, 50 wool and acrylic blend. And you would never know there's no. wool in it. It's, it's so soft. So nice. And I just, with. yes, it's so squishy. That's mm -hmm. what I think. It's just really squishy. It's that that feeling that when you grab yarn and you're like, oh, mm -hmm. like that. Yep. You just get that right. Of skin. And it's very inexpensive, yep. I think. I and like, also a worse I thing. like the ultra wool, too. I love the ultra mm -hmm. wool for the stitch definition, mm -hmm. but it is wool. Yeah. So it just doesn't quite have that. Some people prefer an acrylic mm -hmm. because it's soft. Yep. You know? Yeah. So if you if you are looking for that wool quality, that little bit of rustic uh, feel and look, mm -hmm. ultra wool is really nice. It is really super nice. wash yarn. But the other thing really that's nice. pretty amazing is that jewel spun yeah. and how it matches up 
with, with all the, the hay, hay field. field. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yep. it's amazing. You can use all the solids yes. with the jewel spun. Mm -hmm. Well, they're both Sirdar yarns, mm -hmm. so but yeah, it does match up nice. And that's nice. see, I used jewel spun a lot before we had it, mm -hmm. so I think that's why it's not my favorite because it's not new to me mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. But it is a Fair. store favorite. Yep. We yep. sell a lot of jewel spun. But I also like the Pima 100. That's because you, you use a lot of cotton. Now, yeah. see, now, don't you find the Pima 100 to me, it drapes better and it's easier mm -hmm. on the hands mm -hmm. than your standard like Definitely lower grade easier, dishcloth cotton. Easier it's, on the hands. I also like because that Pima 100, Pima cotton is sourced from the U.S. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you knew that or not. So there's only a certain area where you can get Pima mm -hmm. um, cotton from in the first place. Mm -hmm. So, um yeah and it's it's very nice for making things it's very nice it's that it's nice enough to use mm -hmm. uh you can, it's good enough and sturdy enough that you can use it for kitchen items even yep. dishcloths yeah but it's nice enough that if you want to you can use it for blankets mm -hmm. and baby things and stuff it's like very that nice. too and there's a lot it's of very colors. clean yep. yeah it has a lot of colors yep. oh, i really so like it i do too i really like yep. it and i've had a lot of people uh, get that for various things over the summer mm -hmm. after yeah. it, even aside from the YPC. I yeah. mean, that's why we kept it. Uh, we yeah. got that for use for making the spa bags for the YPC, but it was so popular that, that, that we kept it here yeah, it's really and nice. brought in the rest of a lot of the colors. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what else did we get? Oh my gosh. There's like all this, um, all the things I found a replacement for awesome. from premier. It's called major from universal yarns. So that's back. If you loved that, we have that again. Um, we have some super chunky. And also, yeah, we were able to get a really nice four ply super chunky. So it's got like that braided look to it or mm -hmm. whatever that um, that really tells you that you're using a chunky. It's not spun. It's mm -hmm. like zipped around. Um, and it's a, a very inexpensive super chunky. I like it. It's really soft. Um, I don't know. Like it's not high end yarn, but it's not junk either. It's from Hayfield, so mm -hmm. it's a, you know it's decent quality and everything. Um, and it it also most of the colors are pretty bright. There's not a lot of uh, shades mm -hmm. like your earth tones or whatever. There's not a lot of those, so it's nice if you want to make some big bright hats or something like mm -hmm. that. You can just punch those out with that stuff. But also, we got that creative Malang oh from yeah. rico and that stuff is really nice if you like if you want to do hats those yeah. are nice and warm and that's color changing yarn mm -hmm. so yeah really there's a lot of new yarn in here yeah, you all have to kind of take new, a drive new drive just through. new stuff even since july we've gotten a lot of new tchotchkes oh we yeah. got these they pretty the symphony necklace you guys look at that and then there's all these so it's sterling silver um and it's hand for hand pounded and formed and the necklace is sterling silver over copper and then these are stitch markers so you can put any stitch markers you want on it but they have all these wool and wire um gemstones mm -hmm. natural stones and freshwater pearls on hand pounded sterling silver so they're really really pretty they and pretty. classy looking yeah. and i love it i love it mm -hmm. it's like my new favorite thing i didn't even take it off when i took no. a shower and the nice thing is is that you can make that chain as long or yeah. as short as yep. you want i have it it's not even all the way out but yeah i mean you can scooch it yep you it's can really hook easy it. to you adjust can hook it, it where you want mm -hmm. yeah but yeah that's like that's my latest favorite thing yeah i'll have a it's new favorite pretty. thing next week because it's pretty because it's pretty yes it's pretty well, anyway, all the things. So yeah, there's so Stop much. Like I said, yeah. <laughs> Stop in. We always want to see you. I always want to see yes. all of you. I'm trying to think. Don't forget. Also, as long as I'm don't forgetting everybody. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget to go to our YouTube channel, which you can get to from our website or from the newsletter or from our Facebook page, mm -hmm. and subscribe and ring the bell because mm -hmm. we don't just upload yarn yak to our YouTube channel. We also have tutorials and um, demonstrations of various like little things. Like I have my easy cluster uh, shawl, yes. the self-increasing shawl yep. um, tutorial is on there. And um, that's a fun fall project that's really fast. Mm -hmm. So um, there's lots of stuff on there you can go check out on our YouTube channel. And we appreciate everyone's support with all the social media stuff. It's just, you know, it helps a lot. The more people that are on it, the more the algorithm goes, oh, to this new person, you might like this. And that helps us out. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate when our customers go do all those things and support us that way. We want to thank you for that. So, anyways, 
Um, should we do a giveaway? We should. Should we do a giveaway? Mm -hmm. Or should I ask you the deserted island question first? Uh, I'm going to ask you the dessert. Yeah. I'm going to ask her the deserted Thank island you. question first. Thank you. And then I'll do the giveaway. Okay. Or maybe I'll let Carla do the giveaway. <sighs> so, Carla. Yes, Kimmer. If you were stranded on a deserted island. A yes. And you had to choose yes. between yarn mm -hmm. or toilet paper. <laughs> Which would you choose? Well, since I'd be surrounded by water, I'd probably pick the yarn. <laughs> uh, that's a no-brainer. A no-brainer. What if it was full of stingrays or jellyfish or something and you could not I don't need a lot. your tushy in the water? I don't water. need a lot. <laughs> You can always use the yarn and what wash it. What if they it. were sharks? Yarn and wash it. Oh, they won't stay around for very long. <laughs> so you pick yarn? I pick yarn. I had to think yeah. about that one for a minute. I was like, nope, I don't nope. know. I'm pretty. Nope, not for I'm me. I'm pretty partial to toilet paper. Nope. So I had to think we're about good. It. And then I got to think. Somebody else there. Who cares? If I had yarn. I, can I make, know. I could make, make myself, myself a, a and personal, then I have water. A personal white cloth, and, and then, then I, I can have swish water. it out in the yeah. water. Well, disgusting, disgusting, but not as yeah, disgusting exactly. as. Whereas, if I had toilet paper and no yarn, I would be forced to try to spin toilet paper in a yarn, or you'd be trying to get plant fiber to do it. <laughs> Isn't that what toilet paper is? Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> so that was the best I could come yeah. up with on short notice. Yeah, Toilet paper or yarn. That was good. Yeah. Anyway. I desecrate my yarn. You desecrate to have yarn. You would and poop not on your yarn paper. to have yarn. I would poop on my yarn to have yarn and not be stuck with only toilet paper. There you have, have it, to folks. All of Heard the here, yarn. right here on Yarn Yak. We'd we rather have yarn first. than toilet paper. And that was the way it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Well, so thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Um, we hope you enjoyed our Yarn Yak episode. Oh, did you think I was going to forget the giveaway? Yeah, yeah. We hope you enjoyed our Yarn Yak episode, and I'll do the giveaway. I'm there Carla, for you, folks. I'm there for you. Carla's going to do it. So, again, we're drawing from customers who shopped in the store or online since last week. Present company excluded. Yeah, Carla doesn't get to. Carla gets nothing. I don't either. I get I the I shop pain. at my own store, I get the, and I don't get I get the, either. no, listen, I get the. The satisfaction of holding the bowl. You get the satisfaction of holding the bowl and telling the people who won. Okay, I'll pull and you tell them. I'm going to make sure I only have one. Otherwise, I have to go back in the bowl. I, I only have yeah. one. There you go. Who is it? Cindy Yunker. Cindy Yunker. I think i'm not sure but i think cindy might be one of the people who is new from okay. river falls who is taking your crochet class this yes. i could be wrong but i think that's who that is All so right. cindy yunker if you are watching you just won our little giveaway you get this little notion pouch that has some things inside of it so and fun. a 40 percent off a single item coupon you must use this coupon and pick up your little notion pouch by the end of the day on saturday saturday on saturday or your saturday. prize goes back in the pile goes back in the pile for someone else to win another day back into the prize ether. and in the meantime stop in and do some shopping and you will also be entered into our next giveaway on our next young Yank episode Yay. That's all, I got. That's all you got? That's all I got. All right. I ran out of steam. <laughs> Baloney. <laughs> well, so next week. Yes. Next, next week, week. Next week, I think. What did I decide on? I decided on something, then I changed my mind already. What should we do next week? How about a hat roundup? Oh, that would be fun. Hat roundup? Hat roundup. Hat and headband. Let's I'll do, do a pattern hats. roundup. Yeah. I'll do a pattern roundup. Roundup. Um, post a bunch of patterns on the Yarn Yank page and yeah. I'll show you some when we come in and I'll show you some yarns that would be yeah. good for. Would be yeah. Let's do a hat roundup. I know, I know it's 98 degrees. I know, but it's going to rain and then it's going to be 71. Yeah. And you know what's going to happen in about three or four weeks? It's yeah, don't be say it. Don't say it out loud. We all know. And your ears right here might my start ears. getting cold. My ears. I just cut my hair off. Now I have to. Could you not just? Could you warm. not just wait for that crispy? I want that crispy fall air. Yeah. Not the kind where you can't fill your face. I'm not in a hurry for that. I am not a sadomasochist. I do not want where my nose sticks together and my face hurts. But I do want 
crisp sweater and boot weather. Thunder. Oh my God, look at the sky. I know, it's yellow. The color of the outdoor it's sky yellow. right now, if you are not here in the mid uh, northwest central Wisconsin, is a very yellowy green color, and that is usually bad. So we're going to go before, It's you know, exciting. Before we lose Before we lose the connection, we're, we're going to head out. We're going to make this choice. It's ourselves. raining in Baldwin. Yeah. So it was great to see you guys. So, we'll see you next Tuesday. Next seven Tuesday. 7 o'clock on your neck. 7 o'clock. All right? That's right. All right. See you then. See you then. And remember, you're the best. You are. Bye. Happy yarning, my friends. I'm holding it. Well.